What is up, what ifos? Welcome back to the channel. Today, you know, I got some of the most outrageous, craziest, and weirdest TikToks that'll make you rethink everything. So you're gonna wanna stay locked in. Cause you ain't gonna believe this. Shit's getting weird. Part infinity. Picture this. A liquid that's not just any liquid, but a substance designed by the brilliant minds at Harvard. A substance so advanced, it's stretching the boundaries of what we thought possible. This isn't a mere concoction, it's a programmable liquid, a revolution in technology that's here to change the way we perceive matter. Imagine a liquid that you can program to change its properties at will. A substance with tunable springiness, adjustable optical properties, and variable viscosity. A liquid that can shift between behaving like a Newtonian fluid, flowing like water, and a non-Newtonian fluid resisting flow. This liquid is a matrix of elastomer spheres, tiny orbs that range from 50 to 500 microns across. They populate the liquid and give it its extraordinary properties. This is a substance that bends at the will of technology, a testament to the leaps and strides we're making in the scientific world. This isn't a plot from a science fiction movie, but a reality we are stepping into. Welcome to the era of programmable liquids. So, what exactly is this programmable liquid? Flubber? Smell right here. Harvard just created Flubber? <laughs> a lot of people aren't going to see it or understand it until it's too obvious. We recall in the 1990s our sun being so yellow and golden we used to draw it on pictures in school. We used to draw the orange sun also. And then we used to be able to feel the sun, the warmth on our skin. I'm talking about you could really feel it. You know what I'm saying? And then we had heat waves that you could see bouncing off the concrete when we used to play outside as kids. You know what I mean? We used to be able to see the heat waves bounce off the concrete like water. Keep God first, man. The sky was so blue, it was beautiful, man. You're wrong. What I'm saying, I have to be calm. Disgusting. June 6th. June 6th, 2024. 2 plus 2, 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 2 is 8, new beginnings. June is the sixth month. And it's the sixth day. That's six six twenty six six eight six six eight 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 new beginnings. It's gonna be the new beginning. It's bad. It's so bad. Hmm. Record this live. They're gonna take it down. They're gonna take it all down. They don't care. Geeked out? Bro said I'm geeked out. Okay. What's up then? If you really want that work, I could give you a tip. No diddy. No diddy. What? Bro. So when I tell you, you can't be a massive perfect. And when I show you proof that I wrote this three and a half years ago, what would you say? It's 3.5. That's basically two and a half. You can't make this up. Three and a half, 3.5K. There's 3.5 thousand viewers here. Think about it. Think about it. Too many times. So why you fucking up so fucking impossible? But stay away. I'm on five. Well, I say five million. I mean, I just say five million likes. I need five million likes. Record this live, it's bad. I've seen so much bad things and you guys don't care, bro. You would not be the same if you seen what I see. Fuck. Bro. This kid's being hurt every day. It's funny to you, bro. It's just funny. You guys laughing. Bro, this is weird because we all know, well, most of us, 
the ones who know know we know that ryan put this together all to hype this fight up bro you know he did that he he even admitted it i'm gonna find the video hey we have it pre-recorded months ago i said i'm about to make sure everybody thinks i'm gonna go crazy why wow, this is gonna be the call the great escape i have it all documented just, i don't know what made me come up with the idea one day just decided just to go all in just commit to a plan that i had and i was not gonna budge for nobody i didn't matter if i went on his podcast anybody's podcast i was acting like sporadic like just like crazy i'll go on your man it was like faces, like faces i'm like <laughs> I'll do this with my nose, but no, I'm, and they're like, it's just a tick. I had everything. I, I just, what was real though is, um, at times I did drink a little bit during camp because uh, I like to drink. He admitted to this, and to see him doing what he, what he's doing right here on this, I think it's it's re, it's recorded, but it was alive, and he did the little fake cry at the end, man. It tells you that celebrities play on regular people's emotions. Period. And it's downright to me, it is downright diabolical. Well, what y'all think though? <laughs> My husband saw me standing in the corner. The only problem, I was not even on the same floor in the house. What? They said, hey. I it was wearing the same long shirt as she was and everything. Are you upstairs? Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That probably was his grandma or something. How do we know? Is this kid serious? Is this a scam? Yeah, uh, half this audience, uh, if you guys get a job, will end up getting a job that doesn't require a college degree. Okay. Secondly, 41% of people that enter college don't graduate. The dropout rate's insanely high. What's your definition of scam? Where a serious proportion of your customers are not given the value proposition that they pay for. Education, right. Which they're not getting. Yeah. This is just a glorified credentialing exercise. Yeah, and that's what you're paying for, but therefore it's Oh, not okay, it's not education. You're just paying for a piece of paper so you can get a job. Learning how to work, learning how to move around a professional workforce. You um, need to go to that... college to learn that? Yes, yes, I'd say I so. think you're being, you're being scammed, man. I don't... Take it from someone who didn't go to college. You don't need any of that stuff. I'm not saying it's easy. You just need to go to college. Secondly, what does a manager of a Walmart, a Walmart Supercenter make a year? Anybody know? What? It's $400,000 a year. Four hundred thousand. Yeah, you guys should just go become a manager of a Walmart. Doesn't require a college degree. There are eleven million job openings in this country right now that don't require college degrees. We are oversupplying college. Half I, of you I, guys I, will end up getting a job where your entire college debt burden means nothing. Yeah. You will get a job that does not require a college degree at all. You're four years wasted. You shouldn't have come here in the first place. Half. Hey, the sick but Charlie Kirk is always on point. I think I saw this video before. Definitely look like Blue Beam though. Like somebody walking around in some Hollywood set. That's what it looks like. Look at that streak across the sky, y'all. It's 2.48 in the morning. What the fuck is that? This is a long streak across the sky here at 2.48 a.m. I'm just getting home from my gig at Swig. And I notice this up in the sky. I'm like, I ain't never seen nothing like that. No rainbow, nothing like that in the sky at night. In the early morning, we hours in the morning. What the fuck is that? Okay, y'all. Feedback. Tell me what's going on. I ain't never seen nothing like that. Okay, y'all. Okay, I'm going to walk back to my car and get my ass home.
But yeah, that's what's going on in the night sky here. Out here at Park Merced. Early in the morning. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I got that on film. What the fuck is that? I want to say that's the Aurora Borealis. But then again, I ain't never seen purple be that prominent in the uh, Borealis like that. I mean, but it could just be sky plasma. Y'all ever heard of sky plasma? It could be that. <laughs> That's so cool. You are so much better of an astronaut, Paige, than, than those other fakes. <laughs> Thank you. And if you're hungry in space, gonna have your floating Fritos to, oh, to, to munch on. Sure. So um, I don't want to give GMOs an ape publicity, but it's all we have hanging around. No. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. It's all true. It's amazing, the zero gravity, it just, it just, everything just floats around. Except my hair, because i got a ponytail. And just brought some coral up from Vieques, from Puerto Rico. Oh, <laughs> yeah, let me see you push it up and down and around. Pull it back toward Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Wow. Push it that Boy, they wish it was done like that. This is a snapshot of the film that was smuggled in 1991 out of a facility uh, just south of Area 5-1. Um, if I am truly in danger, that means that this film and this, this being is real. And God help me. But if I'm truly in danger and this being is real, that means the extraterrestrial program is also real. And I say, God help us all. You did show me a slide of um, a comparison between the original version. Oh, and the yeah. Other. Yeah, folks, this is how it came. This is what Victor's VHS tape looked like. There oh, it is. This is it. Yeah. This, so is, this is how the videotape came to Rocket Pictures, folks. On the mm -hmm. right is the dramatic and darkened version for the, the documentary. Uh -huh. But this is what Victor brought to Rocket Pictures, this bluish where you can see the entire uh, arms and, and th thoracic uh, 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 cavity of, of the being. In this um, internal briefing from the DIA, sent to me by someone who worked with the DIA years back, he must have, from his contact, it said basically um, the time date, who was in the viewing gallery watching this, which is called a thought projection interview, the facility that it was, um, what type of alien being ET this was, um, how the film was smuggled out of this top secret facility, and it wasn't S4, as Victor said. It was a facility called S2 Alpha, and we have the satellite photo of it, S2 Alpha. S2 Alpha is the building on top of the ground. It's got administration, and it's got the AHC beneath it, which is, there it is. That's it. That is the entrance to the alien housing complex, S2 Alpha, the S2 Annex. Folks, no one in ufology is going to bring you this. I have brought you this. You go down that ramp, you turn to the left, a guard comes out, he hooks up an exhaust to your car, you go in and exchange badges. Now beneath S2 Alpha is the AHC, the alien housing complex. This is what I was told. The alien housing complex. This, this is where extraterrestrials were held, were retained for Project Aquarius, 
which was the Alien Retention and Interrogation Program. That was the unofficial name of those in the program. Bro, I have so many questions about that. I'm not going to ask all those questions here, but I have so many questions. Oh, Memphis, you tough motherfuckers out there, them National Guard boys is on their way. Seen it on the news, man, and they said it's time out. First, you know, it's been killings and stuff going on left and right in Memphis, man. We already know that. But when Slick Rick got his head cut off, rest in peace, I know y'all remember that. And then this here Orange Mound uh, shooting of all these folks and stuff like that, I guess they said enough is enough. So the National Guards is on their way. It was on the news, and today they passed me. Like, all the army shit on them damn big ass flatbed trailers and all that, like they on their way. So it's gonna be Memphis for real. Now I was in the move at uh Memphis a little hot little second, you know what I'm saying? But like it's gonna be Memphis for real. Because my thing is, is everybody gonna lay down? Well you're gonna have folks still out there trying to do what they do, shooting at the National Guard. Man, the way it is now like here, these boys might go to war with the National Guard. How yep. we know? You know what I'm saying? All I wanna say is though. If you take time out, you say your prayers for Memphis, man. Memphis is getting off the chain, man. They have no remorse. They have no character or nothing for human life, man. It's just jumping down there like that. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, I used to stay there, man, but it's got worse. But say a prayer for Memphis, man, and hope it don't get crazy, crazy, even more crazy. Well, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I live on the outskirts now, but that's where I'm from, man. I was born and raised and um still got family members stay there and i go in the city time to time to visit family but you know i'm tired of it really to be honest with you i i'll be glad when the, when the national guard do come in because i get tired of not being able to take my family where i want to take them because i'm thinking about what may or may not happen while we out you know yes i'm, I'm licensed to carry but my, my weapon may not be enough to save us all you know and that's the thing that's the reality of it because it's crazy here it's really crazy. And if you come here, you definitely got to know how to navigate. I'm going to put it like this. You know, the, the leaders in this city need to do something because this not only makes it dangerous for the citizens, but it really cuts into when the tourists come here. Like, nobody wants to come here when it's like that. You know, it, it, it's really crazy, man. You guys are not going to believe what I captured with my telescope. So I wanted to show people just how bright the so-called planets truly are. Because all the images and photos we see online are extremely underexposed and they're either stacked or layered or just plain CGI. So I decided to take a series of long exposure photographs of Jupiter. And this is one of those photographs. This is just a 30 second exposure of Jupiter. But this video isn't just about how bright Jupiter is. What I want you to notice is this odd looking lens flare up above it. Now I know what you're thinking, it's just a lens flare. But is it? I know it's just a lens flare, but there is more to it. So when I was processing my photos, I was like, you know what? I, I took 27 really nice exposures, 30 second exposures. I wonder what it would look like with some stacking. So I stacked 27 30 second exposures together and you are not going to believe what it revealed. This is going to blow your mind. Now telescopes like mine use mirrors and lenses and it shows you an inverted image. So once you get done processing your photos, you have to flip them around. Basically, you see a mirrored image. It's backwards. So look what happened after I stacked 27 of these photographs together and then flipped it. God is showing off. Check this out. What are the odds that I would stack 27 long exposure photographs of Jupiter together and the lens flares would be layered just perfectly where it would spell God. Look, G, 
O D in uh -huh. capital letters. I like now, what he did there. If this doesn't make though. you a believer, I don't know what will. There are no coincidences. I can't explain it, and I don't know how he did it, but I know that this was God. I mean, seriously, what are the odds that the lens flares would layer themselves perfectly together to spell God? This world is not what you think it is, and it's not what you have been told. We do not live in a helio sin trick model. Think about it. They're not saying that your world is centered around the sun. They're saying your world is centered around helios. Helio sin trick. We were all tricked, deceived by helios a.k.a. Lucifer and Satan. Don't believe the lies of the devil. Research biblical cosmology. Creation happened exactly as Genesis 1 says it did. Evidence of intelligent design is all around us, everywhere, every day. Do not be willfully ignorant, my friends, and don't be centric by Helios. Repent and believe on Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. God bless. Yeah, I like what he did there. That was definitely, definitely edited into there. Because how did you go from one lens flare to three? Just because you stack photos, and these are for people who know how to stack photos. Stacking photos does not duplicate things that you see. It just enhances what you see. That's all it does. It enhances what you see. Meningitis is on the rise and it's in the news. I've had lots of questions asking how can you get meningitis? So I'm going to discuss that now. I'm Katie, nurse of two decades with experience in many specialties. Give me a follow. Daily, I share symptoms of concern that may indicate you should consider going to the emergency room. There are three different kinds, viral, bacterial, and fungal. The people most at risk are the young, the old, and the immunocompromised. However, anybody can get it and it is life-threatening. Any combination of these symptoms are a big red flag. Severe throbbing headache, a fever, stiff neck, nausea and vomiting, any confusion at all. Confusion is always a huge red flag. A baby's bulging fontanelle, photophobia, which is difficulty with bright lights, a flat blood red or purple rash that does not change color when you press on it. It does not blanch or lighten. To see this better, you can roll a clear glass over your skin. If those blood red spots don't change, big red flag. You can get it through sharing utensils, getting coughed on, sneezed on, it's respiratory and oral secretions, kissing. It can also be caused by severe untreated middle ear infection that spreads into the porous mm -hmm. mastoid bone or a severe untreated sinus infection. Yep. You probably can't live your life trying to avoid getting meningitis like you did with COVID, but you should consider treatment if you have any combination of those concerning symptoms. Nah, for real. I had meningitis when I was like 23, 22, 23, something like that. And boy, when I tell you, and mine came from a sinus infection because I have terrible sinuses. Terrible. I hate this time of year because that's when they start acting up. But this was around the time I, I didn't know how to control it just thought a sneeze was a sneeze i thought my eyes were just swelling up because i was allergic to something but turns out it was just uh my science sinus uh cavities were filling up with fluid and then i ended up with cyanitis and then that is cyanitis turned into meningitis and i tell you i had the, that was the worst pain ever worst pain and the doctor said it was good i caught it the time that i did because it could have killed me you know what i'm saying but I don't wish that on anybody, bro. Nobody. Have y'all ever had meningitis? Did y'all see what happened to China? Bro, look at this, y'all. Boulder size hell. Came down raining from the sky, y'all. What? Look at that. Look at these are boulders, y'all. This was today. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Did y'all hear that? It sound like Dang. gunshots going off. 
Oh my goodness, oh, man! Hell, in no. some places the hell wasn't as big. See but what I this did This particular there? spot over here seen huge boulders of ice coming from the sky, y'all. Like, what is that about? Could that be like the frozen, you know, chemicals like that's coming down? That's crazy, y'all. Yo, what is going on? I personally have never seen hell in real life before, y'all. But that right there. I never want to come across. It doesn't matter if I, it doesn't matter. But you guys see what's up with China, man. Y'all see, it's not even China. The world is going through it. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> Let it out, y'all. Let's get this shift. Let me know what you guys think about this video. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interest. That was really, if those blocks of ice was really hell. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the world, man. Do y'all think that was really hell? So Antarctica have a volcano that's raining gold every day. No wonder they don't want us to go over there. So the entire time, they was actually going to war for these volcanoes that was filled with gold. And they made us believe it was just the end of the world once we get past the ice walls. But it's really gold over there. They call it gold rain on Earth. The volcano Antarctica is raining 80 grams of gold dust every day. Every day. Whoever owns these volcanoes in Antarctica is going to be rich forever. Only that is one of the most active volcanoes in the world. 6,000 in gold dust every day, but I guarantee it's more than this. This is not the only volcano. They have a volcano in Yellowstone that's filled with gold underneath of it, and that's active as well. They had 88 earthquakes in Yellowstone alone. This gold is everywhere now. Real corrupt thing about this is all that gold belongs to everyone on this planet. They don't own these volcanoes, so why not give the gold to the rest of the people? Ever wonder why all these royal people go around Africa and all these other countries stealing all the gold? Did you know that gold make you live forever? Gold can actually regenerate you so you can never look old. Gold can also open up different dimensions and portals. Gold is everything. Remember that story of the Anunnaki? They came here and made people dig for gold for them. The same gold they came here for is the same gold that's erupting from these volcanoes in Antarctica. Did you know that the sun is directly connected to all the gold on this planet? They call it solar rays, but it's really gold rays coming from the sun. Not to mention we are all gold because we have plasma in our body. The plasma is really gold. How do you think they have all these blood banks all over the world? They are stealing our plasma because our plasma is liquid gold. So these people are stealing all the gold from the volcanoes and they're stealing gold within our plasma and our body. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I had something. <laughs> what are you running for? Yes, I'm currently in there. <laughs> I was. DoorDash because my sister and the kids are gone for tonight. Like I'm here by myself. The, like the kids had football practice, so they had to go do their own thing. Thank you. So I ordered DoorDash and I heard it knock. All I have to say is about Sean is it's not my world. I don't understand any of that world. I don't pretend that I do. But well, I don't think this is a necessarily a hip hop related issue. No, he lives in a total issue. different world. I don't know what he does. Sure, but you've also been in a position to see entertainers, famous people taking advantage of young girls. You've seen it. Yeah. So to say that you know nothing about it, I think is a is a in, an Nothing inaccurate. about his case, mom should say. Yeah. Ultimately, it comes down to this. Guilty people run. You know, I used to watch the Osborne's reality show back in the day. Man, back in the day, MTV, VH1 was lit. Early 2000s was the shiznit. Remember we used to say that word? But anyway, it's weird that they talking about Diddy and uh, their dad used to bite pigeon heads off on stage. Challenge the smell. If you go in there, 
make an impression. So these dogs in here. I said, yeah, I'll make an impression. Go figure. Hey, everybody. I just made a video of the sun kind of flashing. Now I want you guys to watch this. Now I'm going to use my welding shield. And we're going to watch the sun. Now let's count in between those flashes. One, two, three, what a four. Flash. One, two, three, four. One, two, Bro. three, four. It's consistent. Well, this is every four. It's ridiculous, seconds. man. It's getting ridiculous. Why is the sun flashing like this? Is this even our sun? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You know what I mean? It's consistent. Like and share. Get this out. What is this thing? Is this even our sun? And yes, off to the right hand side there, that's all sun or flares or whatever. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Huh, what is going on? I noticed before the eclipse, I was on a phone call with my buddy and I was like, do you notice anything different with sunlight? It just seemed a little different. And even today, it's a beautiful sunny day. And surprisingly, not a chemtrail in sight. Which is a good... You know, the things people is like doing for content. I mean, I get it, y'all. Got to keep the content going, right? It's like people been scrambling since after that eclipse because ain't nothing happened. The, the, the eclipse... That rack people racked up some views about that, creating conspiracy theory videos about that. And since then, they just been throwing together everything. And a perfect example of that is this video, because anybody that actually is a your blue collar workers who work in welding, who do things like that, you guys know about those automatic uh battery charged, uh solar powered uh welding helmets, right? Yeah, that's exactly what that was. And for those who don't know about that, probably don't even know those things exist, would have gotten fooled. But I respect it because it's content. Is she saying what I think she's saying? This is what I get from this. Tell me, is it what you get from this? Another alumni on the couch is Charleston White. And uh, he recently... That's as good I do um, yeah. I've been paying attention. The credibility of who you getting on this couch, homie, and I hate to say this, nigga, y'all ain't gonna keep winning with that with that Jaguar bitch. Because she should be because and I'm just this not to put her down. This this is for y'all. Because she's seen as a mental health patient who's spewing whether it's true or not untrue things that sounds outrageous islandish that you guys are accepting as true the viral jaguar right the bitch who goes viral faster than you intentions White. intentions i've been researching you charleston you afraid of tasha k you should be afraid of me and you owe me a conversation with Spider Loke regarding Nipsey Hussle. And that's going to happen whether you like it or not. <laughs> you agreed to do it oh, before man. I went to jail. Looks like you got off. Easy. Because Spider Loke and Corrupt was on their way here to come give you the fucking business. And I was going to drop the dime about what you've been doing in Compton for the past 12 years. Oops, did I say that out loud? My bad. Yo, um, now listen, I, I, I'm a person who sees intentions. Let's break this down. First off, what intentions 
would make Charleston White say the things he said about Jaguar right. Because you don't speak about someone else's name unless... First off, let me first off say that uh, we all know Charleston White is a fed. He, he is. He is. He's even come out and said he's worked with the FBI. He's come out of his own lips and said this. This isn't me saying it. This is Charleston White saying this. But why would you try to discredit the truth that Jaguar Wright is saying? And saying even whether it's true or not, she's saying untrue things. And what the fuck? Are you doing in Compton for 12 years? And why does she want to talk about Nipsey? What are you implying, Jaguar? Because you know what I'm thinking. Okay, let me... I'm. A, you know what? It's crazy because... Don't get me wrong. Charleston White says a lot of things that need to be said when it comes to the black community. I cannot argue with him there. But I got to say this. The CIA is a real thing, okay? People don't just pop up and just become famous out of nowhere. And then you go back and you can only find a few videos here and there of, do, of them doing certain things, you know. Uh, I, I, I I believe in plants. I definitely do. And I believe that Jaguar Wright may or may not be there. Definitely believe Charleston may or may not be there because he's well-educated, as she is too. They both play crazy and they get millions upon millions of views just spewing whatever they feel that the people want to hear right i look at it all as a distraction the stuff that's going on with puff daddy or what up he did it whatever his name is and we can argue whether that is a distraction for black people or white people but it really don't matter because i feel like it's distracting the world this type of stuff here is distracting the world so i don't this is why i'm a skeptic I don't follow people. I don't say, oh, he's right. Oh, he's this. Oh, he's that. Because these are the most easiest ways to be led astray. Because you can't trust nobody. Hell, don't even trust me. I see people in the comments calling me a bot, calling me an agent. Bro, that's cool. I get it. I know where you're coming from. I don't trust anything either. That's why I'm so skeptic about everything. Me and my mind, I feel everything is a distraction from something way more important. And I always feel like that. And that goes right back to Jaguar Wright and Charleston White being nothing more than distractions. They keep up bull crap. And they know that people like that, they find that entertaining. And it's going to keep their minds occupied while they slip and mosey on in and change laws and add new things that's going to make life harder for the people every time. That's what they're going to do. But I digress. What y'all think? Look at this steak, y'all. I'll put some seasoning on this. And this is one of those mechanically tenderized steaks. It, it just does Mechanically not look tenderized. Right. Mm -mm. It looks all rubbery. And it just does not look normal. It the seasoning that right. I put on it. It just doesn't even want to like seep into it. Oh. It's so weird. I just, I can't, it's so creepy. I can't do it. I got gypped on a bunch of this stuff, man. I'm pissed. Spent like a hundred bucks on a bunch of these steaks. I had no idea they were all, like. they came out like this. What a bummer. Can't even eat it. I won't. Nope. You know, it's crazy that we live in a bioengineered world. I'm talking about, bro, I went in Walmart and I've been seeing this, but I just really, it's on my mind heavy. Every cereal that I grew up eating now contains bio-engineered food and flavor which we already knew it always has but now they have to put it on the box to tell you the truth right the only one that doesn't have it is post any food any cereal or food made from post yeah and 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 surprisingly reese's yeah they don't have it either but it's scary to think about that every piece of food you put in your mouth is bio-engineered 
If you are not a conspiracy theorist, everything that is going to start coming out is going to make you shit your pants. If you are a conspiracy theorist, you are going to be enraged that people are starting to, oh my god, this is really what's happening. I hope you're ready because shit is about to start hitting the fan. I hope you're ready for the truth to come out. I hope you're ready to hear about things that you never thought could have even existed. I know it's dark, I know it's twisted, and it's heavy, but this is literally what we're here for. Do you realize that, like, this can't go on? There's a lot of stuff coming out about children's TV shows. Yo, that's the tip of it. That's nothing. But it's better for the truth to come out and for people who had no clue to now be made aware of the severity of it. And now... We didn't make this shit up. Conspiracy theorists wish they made this shit up. You know what? I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna leave it here. I can't wait to shit my pants. Cause I really want to know what it is to come. Because I feel like I'm better off knowing than not knowing. Cause then I can better prepare myself and better prepare my family. But when I don't know, then what am I supposed to do? I'm just out buying stuff that may or may not even work for me when things do hit the fan so yes i'm looking forward to the stuff coming out whether it's dark vile or it's beautiful pretty pleasant doesn't matter i want it to come out and you should want it to come out too and like i always say do what you will with that information and hey if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. Oh yeah, these shirts, check it out. Shirts that consciousness only knows life because consciousness can't experience death. Therefore, death cannot exist. Add your boy Bo. I hope y'all heard. These shirts will become available real soon. Okay, I know I've said it before, but I'm working on getting the designs down, man. And I hope y'all support your boy. I'm not going to bust your heads because stuff is already extremely high as it is, you know. But I just feel like y'all support the channel, man. And I got to get some merch out for you, man. And also, don't forget to hit that P.O. box, man. Send me letters, man. I want to know how y'all feeling about the content, man. And, and you know. Or whatever i think we should get back to pen paling so you know pen pal me man my p.o box is in the description and uh man stay positive stay vigilant okay and remember challenge the argument and not the person